Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard here, and we have some new plans, thank you to Orlando Park Stop again, we have some new uh, permanent plans for the last land and, or the last theme land in <laughs> Universal Epic Universe. Um, as previous, I'll link the other videos for up, but we went over the How to Train Your Dragon Lands, Super Nintendo World Lands, and the Classic Monsters Lands. Again, the, those plans and videos will be in the link above. But now we have plans for Fantastic Beasts. Perhaps the most interesting land, um, and um, second only to Classic Monsters, I'd say the most interesting land in Universal's initial phase of Epic Universe because it includes a large indoor section. And we're going to discuss that right now. The Fantastic Beats here is the map, just in case you uh, want to see the full plan, but Fantastic Beast is located right next to the hotel, the end park hotel that's going to be in the park. The area is going to be said to be themed to 1920s pairs, and um, as I speculated, because it looks very tight, it's going to have that Diagon Alley type of feel. Um, and Diagon Alley is the Universal Studios floor. It's going to have, have that same Diagon Alley type of feel. And as you see in these concept plans, there's two, there'll be two um, pathways um, that'll be themed to outside streets as uh, strolling in, like if you're going in uh, Paris. And along these outdoor streets, there'll be plenty of shops and cafes and uh, outdoor dining, and then they there's like a fork in the road, and take the right or the left passageway, and the right uh, passageway will lead to a large indoor section, and the left will also lead to a large indoor section. Um, wh when which will contain three attractions: two in the left on left path, and one on the right path, which we'll discuss in a little bit. And as we go ahead and move on towards um, towards those um, attractions or towards uh, that setting, the outdoor section again. Here's a a sh screenshot from the movie of Fantastic Beasts: The Second One, The Climbs of Grindelwald, of what the the outdoor area can look like. They're in Paris in the 1920s. <laughs> And there's not there's normal shops and uh, <laughs> restaurants and restaurants, but also magical shops. Like example, the there's something called the Place Cache, which is a little square that includes specialized shops like Cosmic uh, Cosmic Octor, which sells wands and triangular triangular prism shaped boxes, and there's a Quidditch shop and a cauldron shop, and there's all these magic shops intertwined in the um, area with the uh, mag with the regular shops. And again, these two passage passageways will be leading to a very large opening that we split into two and contain three attractions. <laughs> As we go along, this is the talking about the attractions now <laughs> again there's gonna be potentially three of them one is rumored to be a large theater type of experience with uh, live shows and puppetry as well potentially and the other large show opening will be or the other portion of the show opening will be two attractions one that could be featured a dr uh, drop tower sort of element <laughs> and another that could be um, something similar to Men in Black combined with some techniques techniques and technology that was developed for the so far never built Ministry of Magic attraction. Um, and that still that was still thought to be of designed for a possible expansion to Diagon Alley, and it still potentially could be, um, but looks like they're integrating some of the elements into this new ride. Um, due to this, uh, these new patents that we're about to show you in about 10 seconds. And these patents show how <laughs> the ride system use, like, these fake walls and special effects to make it look like you're going through, um, the wall, like, teleporting from one location to another. Again, because, like, in the 
and Fantastic Beasts in pairs. There's a secret alleyway and special wall people or the wizards walk through, and they're transported transported to that face cache um, square that I was talking about with the magic shops and the wand shops, and they're basically in the magical pairs. And they get them through this wall that's in this nondescript alley, and uh, and 1920s pairs in the movie. So in the right system, right system of being a moving vehicle, something no, maybe like the many black type vehicles or transformers vehicles or just a car, um, like you're driving through the streets of Paris, and you're rumored to be um, getting trying to round up all of uh, Newt's magical creatures that have escaped from him, and to do this, there's a possible these patents show the person's holding a wand. As you can see here, so there may this may be a very interactive ride, in which case they might supply you with a wand on on the vehicle, and just like with the magical windows, you'll be able to wave the wand around to make um, have special effects to give um, make this, the physical sets move and portions of the ride move the, the set pieces on the ride move. So you can go ahead and get those magical creatures. So it'll be a really cool person, like a shooter attraction, but not a shooter attraction because um, they're using the same interactive style. Instead of shooting things or using webs to um, get things, you'll be using your wands and magic. It'll be like a basic, like a magic, a magical windows, but super sized to a full attraction, which sounds really awesome because either they think you have to, I think you have to supply. Um, each vehicle, each wand, or each sheet would come with its own wand, I think. Because then, I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't want people to go buy buy fifty dollar wands just to ride this attraction. Nor do they want people to use their own wands because their own wands are only calibrated for the windows and not really calibrated for this new ride technology. So it's safe to assume that each car and each sheet will have um, their set of wands for guests to use on the attraction, which. <laughs> is super cool. The next attraction is from a patent that actually went over in a previous video um, when you know so found a whole bunch of patents, patents um, for potential Jurassic World rides as well as um, a drop tower element. This drop this uh, patent deals with the drop tower element and it looks like there's at least will be four from this vantage point, either four drop tower vehicles <laughs> or one drop tower vehicle rotating around, it looks like. Comment below what you guys think, but I see this patent looks there's uh, like there's four drop tower vehicles and all sent around this pig. I don't know if it's one, they're trying to show one and everyone's rotating around, or they're all there's four ride vehicles like that. But Keep in mind, this tower attraction won't be tall or you know, thrilling like we'd say, like with the drop of doom, at the Spags Magic Mountain, or uh, the Tower of Terror ride at Disney Parks, but more like it's will be used like just an actual elevator to get up and down between levels. And during this ride, you'll you'll be um. Let's see, you'll be going ahead and going through multiple rooms as, um, going through the, this is, uh, there's not much known about it, but uh, what it could be, but it, basically you're just going through, going through a whole bunch of rooms, <laughs> through a whole bunch of show scenes, so it's more like a dark ride, it's like a, it's, it's like a dark ride, but a vertical dark ride, as there won't be a drop tower element really. But you'll be going uh, through a constant, like m the elevator is moving up and down constantly, like an omni mover. But you'll be pulling out of the elevator into these different show scenes, and going back into the elevator and going down. <laughs> and there'll be multiple cars doing that at one time. So I guess in the patent above, it does. There are those were four ride vehicles together. Because maybe at one point you'll all be coming into the same room and looking at something. There'll be multiple tower 
air elevators, um, or more for cars going into the elevator, going up and down, going into and out of rooms, and on a uh, park stop, or on a park stop, such as it could be for a possible French Ministry ride featuring characters and creatures from the series. Uh, which <laughs> could be pretty cool. I just like that cool. I like the drop tower element in general, but this dark ride elevator element sounds very awesome, and uh, <laughs> I'm excited to see it all when it's done. Don't forget, Universal Orlando or Epic Universe construction is still going, so it is still and uh anticipates open in 2023 which is fantastic and speaking of that stay tuned for tomorrow because tomorrow we i have a universal studios hollywood <laughs> construction video update as their construction is still going and thank you to a micah flies who took a helicopter ride over la and he you know, took pictures of an empty los angeles but also flew over every theme park in los angeles and la and southern california and I got some really cool pictures. I have some interesting Super Nintendo World updates for tomorrow. So subscribe for that and definitely, um, definitely turn the notification bell on and stay tuned for that tomorrow afternoon. And moving on to the third attraction again, it looks like it could be a, a large theater attraction. And and there's been rumors online that could be themed to the Lestrange family mausoleum, which can be seen at the end of the crimes of Grindelwald. And it's also possible the area could be used for multiple purposes, with audience participation shows and wand battle demonstrations to, again, Broadway, kind of like narrative performances like Broadway stage shows and actual traditional shows. And that um, but there's also some rumors <laughs> that there'll be um, some hidden <laughs> and very public not so hidden Fantastic Beasts animatronics located just scattered throughout the land. Almost like with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, as there's jets and there's Chewbacca walking around. So some kind of atmospheric creatures, which would be pretty, no, pretty cool and pretty almost like a hidden Mickey type of thing. But instead of finding the hidden Mickey, we find the find the uh, fantastic beast creature and that's it for right now on what we have what's going for the yeah, fantastic beast attraction again links above on the videos for plans for super nintendo world or i'm just kidding um classic monsters and how to train a dragon super nintendo world we definitely all know the plans it's based the same in hollywood and as hollywood in japan's <laughs> Except they're getting, or they're also getting all three. The Yoshi Ride, which is like Secret Level Pets, Ride System, Omni Mover, Mario Kart, and um, Donkey Kong at the same time. But for classic monsters, attraction rumors, and site plans, and How to Train a Dragon attraction rumors and site plans, look up on the link below and subscribe for more theme park updates. It's like I said, we'll be doing a big Universal Studios Hollywood update tomorrow. And Later on this week, I'll be ranking every single Calif Disney California Adventure ride with <laughs> my good old pals, Orange Grove 55 and Disney Family Man 23. So as always, have a fantastic day.